In this video, I'll teach you how to set the status date and use the late tasks filter to prepare for entering task progress in Microsoft Project. Quite some time ago, I created a YouTube video on how to enter progress in Microsoft Project. In that video, I spent a long time describing how to do a custom setup of the tracking table and then how to enter progress in that custom tracking table. But in that video, I didn't talk about setting the status date and I didn't explain how to use the late tasks filter. If you haven't watched that video already, please pause the video now and click the link in the information section below and watch the video on how to enter task progress in Microsoft Project. Then come back to this video and I'll teach you how to set the status date and to use the late tasks filter to prepare for entering task progress in Microsoft Project. So let's get started. If you watched my other YouTube video on how to manually enter task progress in a Microsoft Project schedule, then you'll notice that I have the tracking Gantt view displayed. I have the tracking table applied with the customized arrangement of columns in the tracking table, including start, actual start, percent complete, remaining duration, actual finish, finish. And then if I drag the split bar a little to the right, you can see that hidden is the resource names column. So at this point, I'm ready to set the status date for this project. But you're probably wondering, so Dale, what is the status date? The status date is the last day of last week's reporting period. If you notice the thin green grid line here in the tracking Gantt screen, this is actually on Wednesday, June the 11th. So the current week is the week of June the 8th. Therefore, the last reporting period is the week of June the 1st. The last day of the week of June the 1st can either be Friday, June the 6th, Saturday, June the 7th, or Sunday, June the 8th. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to select Friday, June the 6th as the last day of last week's reporting period. That is the date by which all progress should be current in this project. So here's how to set the status date. Click the project tab to display the project ribbon. And then over in the right end of the ribbon in the status section, you'll notice there's a status date button where the default date is NA. Click the status date button and then enter the date that will be the status date for your project. In my case, that will be June the 6th. Then click the OK button. Now something's going to happen in my project that won't happen in your project by default. In my project, you can now see that my status date carries a thin red dashed grid line that makes it really easy to see what the status date is for the project. If you look in the information section below this video, you'll find another link to the YouTube video that will tell you how to display the status date as a red dashed grid line just the way I have here. I really like that. Now, once you've set the status date for your project, then the next step would be to apply the late tasks filter. To do this, click the view tab to display the view ribbon. 
Then in the data section, click the filter, pick list button, and you'll find a built-in filter called late tasks. Select that filter. And here's where amazing things happen. When you apply the late tasks filter, Microsoft Project will automatically show you every task that needs progress entered from last week's reporting period. You can see that tasks 2 and 3 and 10 and 11 all need progress entered for them. So once you've done that, it makes it really easy to manually enter task progress using this customized task table on the left side of the tracking Gantt view. Hey, thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now you know the rest of the story about how to prepare Microsoft Project for entering task progress. By the way, if you like how I teach people to use Microsoft Project in these videos, I'd encourage you to hire me to teach the project managers and schedulers in your organization. If interested, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you right away. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.